Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to Hump Day edition of What's for Lunch. How you doing over there, Megs? All right. I'm your host, Larry Hers. Today, in studio, all the way from Westminster, Colorado, I have Lynn and Rayal from Emilio's Almost Famous. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to start off this episode with not what you think. This is not tequila. This is, well, we'll let Lynn tell us. What is this? This is our apple, our homemade Luna Shine, which is an apple pie moonshine. And it's loaded with alcohol, but it doesn't taste like it. Cheers. Smells like apple Cheers. pie. Cheers, um, it does. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! It's actually, it's freaking delicious. It's really good. It is freaking delicious. I was worried that I was going to do like a waggle and be like, and then like be choking. No. We get that freaking, a lot. So. No. <laughs> The moonshine, it scared me. I know. All right, real quick, tell them the story of the moonshine. Okay, the moonshine has been a family recipe for 30 years. And when we opened the restaurant, my son said, let's put it on the menu. We did, and now it's become our signature right along with our house margarita. When did you open the restaurant? We opened the restaurant about seven years ago. Well, it'll be seven years this November. Mm -hmm. So we're family owned. We opened it with my wife and my parents. And where exactly are you located? So we're located on the northwest corner of 100th and Wadsworth in Westminster. Okay, and how would you describe your cuisine? New Mexico style Mexican food. We're very much influenced by New Mexico, not Tex-Mex. All right. Okay. I can live with that. Yeah, you betcha. <laughs> are you Midwest? No, sir. I was born and raised in Colorado. You just said you betcha like you're from Minnesota. I, I know. <laughs> Whoops. Um, <laughs> let's talk about your hours because that was shocking to me. Oh yeah, so we, um, we start uh, Monday through Friday, we start at 7 a.m. and um, we go through breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we stop serving dinner at 9, but we also are a bar cantina, so we do stay later if we do have some late night drinkers, some appetizers, that kind of thing, and then on uh, Saturday and Sundays we open up at 9 a.m. <clears throat> for a uh, breakfast and brunch, and we stay open till 9, to, to the kitchen closes at 9, and then we go on for the drinkers till after that. On your brunch, you're doing bottomless? We're doing bottomless mimosas on Saturdays and Sundays, okay. and I think they go till 1 p.m. right now. And then on the weekdays, does your menu change during the day? Do you have a breakfast and lunch and dinner menu? Yeah, so we basically have a, um, we have to do our four, $4 breakfast burrito starting at 7 a.m., and those end at noon. And then starting at 11, we start our traditional lunch and dinner menu. Okay, well, since you brought this up, let's jump into food. I'm gonna have to probably unwrap that, but that's a $4 breakfast burrito? Yeah. You can also get it smothered, and then we also have deluxe, and you can, we have multiple options, but we also do have like one through seven different options. And then this is the deluxe option Casserole. with the vegetarian chili. We have, all our chili is gluten-free, nice. so that's very unusual in the Mexican restaurant industry. It's all uh, gluten-free, that's a veggie, our green chili, and all of our chilies come, we, we buy our chili from a farm south of Pueblo, uh, 400,000 acre green chili farm and we freeze about 5,000 pounds a year. So we start with that fresh farm to table ingredient as for all of our green chili. And yeah, our everything looks beautiful. So this is breakfast burrito, you said? Yes. yes. Okay, so we'll stay in the burrito family. <laughs> this one here is? That is our Igante, breakfast, or our Igante burrito. Um, so it is it is quite large, um, but you can get that in multiple, you know, it's, it's Mexican food, right? So you can build it and, how, and kind of um, set it up how you want it. Um, right there, it's smothered in our hot green chili. You have different temps of green chili? We have different temps. We have hot, half and half, and mild. Okay. And then we also have a vegetarian green chili. And our vegetarian, coming from to be a meat eater, or I'm, I'm a meat eater, and when we first came up with a vegetarian, it um, it has some consistency to it. It's, it's really, it's it's very good. This one here is? The green chili. Vegetarian? So that one is pork. pork green chili. Pork. And the one right there um, is, is the vegetarian, vegetarian green chili. So a different color. There you right. go. Very okay. good. And it's very distinctive. Right. And what's inside this one? That one right there is our, um, I think it's our beef and uh, bean. Beef and there. bean. Nobody will know. You can tell yeah. them whatever. Yeah, yeah right? Bacon. You can tell them it was shrimp, steak, lobster. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You could do shrimp, shrimp lobster, steak, fish. Steak, yeah. chorizo. You know, you, we got a million options. Okay. A million options. Really good looking burger, which, surprise. So it's not just Mexican food? Yeah, so we do have some Americana items. So this one right now is a fire chipotle burger. Um, it's we, we do add some spice to our burgers. I mean, you can also do just a plain one, but... This one has done very well. Um, we just introduced it a couple months ago. It's excellent. So excellent. we do have good burgers. We do have good fries. Um, since we're talking about that, we also have our wings as okay. well. So um, the wings, um, in my opinion, are the best in Westminster. I mean, they are so good. They're meaty. We bake them. We flash fry them. 
Um, you can get them, we only offer two op or three options. I guess you could do it with the dry rub or you can do it with the traditional like wing sauce. Or we also have our Dorado habanero, which is a habanero sauce that is made in house. You can get it tossed in those and you can see that we have tossed it in those um, for, for this. Um, they are hot. So we do warn people that um, they do get a little spicy at times. I mean, I, I took a, a taste of this. Um, the flavor is great. And I, I would say it's about an eight on the heat scale. Okay. It's, it makes you want to drink. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Which is the goal. But the flavor is fantastic. And it definitely complements our food as well. So, yes, and you does. can buy it, and we sell the bottles in house as well. Yes, we do. And sell so, it. this is like on the tables? And it's on the tables as well. Yeah. So, and you would put this on anything? Pretty, Pretty much chili. anything, yeah. I mean, it just it depends. And so, sometimes when people say our hot chili is not hot enough, we refer them to the Dorado Habanero. Exactly. Okay, keep, oh, keep it moving here. My favorite, beautiful. the chili rellenos. Okay, so our chili rellenos are definitely unique. We stuff them with chicken and cheese. Our chef, Rena, developed this from her province in Cancun. And what she does is does a special sauce, rolls them in uh, panko, and then de they deep fry them, and then we have them um, smothered, and you can get beans and rice on the side. That's a full meal there. You can get them a la carte. This is an excellent dish. And you're not going to get the chili rellenos like this anywhere. You, you've never tasted one like this unless you've been in that province in Cancun. Okay. Yep. They really look good. Everything. Okay, some tacos. Oh, those are traditional tacos. Yeah. So we have street tacos. We have traditional tacos. We brought traditional today with our pulled pork. We slow cook our pulled pork all night long with a nice dry rub and spices, oranges. I mean, it's delicious. When I walk in in the morning and it's been cooking all night, I just... Salivate. <laughs> anyway, we make our taco shells in house. We make our chips in house. We make our tostada shells in house, and these are just excellent. They're fresh. Everything's fresh, and you can't go wrong eating one of our tacos. Mm -hmm. Looks like you guys are busy over there making a lot of stuff. They do. Yes. They work hard in that kitchen. Oh, I want one of these so bad. What about <laughs> so these are our poppers, jalapeno poppers, handmade. So we call it, um, so sometimes with the jalapenos, we call it pepper roulette, because you don't know if they're gonna be oh, hot yeah. or mild. Yes. Um, and we get that a lot. So then we do have a raspberry sauce, and you can get it with like a ranch or blue cheese, and just everything, all those flavors just complement. Mm. Uh, they're really good. Just a great appetizer. It's light. It's like, you know, if you're going to eat the Agante burrito, we usually recommend that if they do just want a little something to get their stomachs moving, so. Some people order Very for good. dinner, though, because they are delicious, and they are fresh. They eat in-house mm -hmm. every day. Uh, I'm not going to try and grab that. It looks like pozole. Yeah, it's pozole. Okay, so I'm very proud of this dish. It is uh, my aunt in New Mexico taught me to make pozole 100 years ago. She's from Gallup, and it's her red bueno sauce. It's excellent. We make our pozole, nothing canned in my kitchen. The only thing canned in our kitchen are the olives that go on the tostadas, and we do start with a canned crushed tomato for our salsas. Everything else, and there's no other can in my kitchen. So the pozole is not a canned product, and you will notice a difference when you eat it. It is a fre fresh frozen product, and it cooks about eight to 10 hours with our pork. It is, mm, I want some right now. <laughs> <laughs> and these are sopapilla sticks. So I just have this, I love sopapillas, but I have this aversion to the sticky, messy honey. So what we do is we make it in a stick form, and we fry them, and then you dip them in the honey, and um, everybody can share at the table, and they're absolutely delicious. Absolutely <laughs> delicious. Now, yeah? Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Cinnamon sugar, you cannot go wrong. How can you go wrong? Just take a shot of moonshine after that, and you are ready for bed after dinner. Okay, where are we here? We're, we got all the food. We got the drinks. Just our chips and salsa. Okay. So homemade chips. So we... we, we cook our chips every morning in the um, um, restaurant kitchen. These are, our, I believe, our signature. They're delicious. You need to taste I, I had it with okay. the habanero. So this is the tomatillo salsa, homemade. And then so this is what comes to the table? Complimentary or? Um, actually, we do charge for our chips and two salsa. Two bucks, right? Is that yes, what I saw? Yes, sir. Two Nothing. bucks. And the reason being is because we do make them in-house, and they're very they're labor intensive. Okay. Helps offset a little bit. But um, you can get the tomatillo or the traditional salsa or both if you'd like. Okay. And we also have pico de gallo you can get, guacamole, queso fendido. We have all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, what you could do is you could just come in and order all the appetizers first time. <laughs> then come back in the evening and order dinner. Give me your website. Um, it's uh, emiliosalmostfamous.com.
and uh, reservations? We do take reservations. Um, we do recommend it, you know, on the popular nights, you know, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights. Um, but, you know, we are just kind of a walk-in place. We're, yeah. we're like we said, we're family owned. Uh, we created a place that, you know, they're probably at one time, 50% of the patrons in there, we know by name. You know, we really are friends and family with the people that, um, that come in there uh, and just kind of keep it bumping all the time. Yeah. We try to make it a lot of fun. We really do. Uh, toughest question, what should I have for lunch? Boy, this is a good one. You've got to eat the pozole and the chili rellenos. And then you really need a bite of this. But you got to <laughs> yeah. taste the habanero wings. Fine. Since I'll I taste that one. Since I didn't bring a fork, I'm going for this. All right. Sounds good. We're going to start with this. Landon Rayal, yeah. pleasure to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Anything so else before you. we go? Just a big thank you to you. Yes, thank you guys very much. And thanks for doing this and supporting all of the local yes, restaurants yes. in Colorado. You you don't understand how hard it's been. I mean, and, we, and thank you guys. We and really And their hospitality it. has been phenomenal down here, guys. It's yeah, been we've amazing. Had a lot of fun thank you so much, sir. We'll work for food. Ah, <laughs> all right. We'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, we got some uh, Nashville hot chicken coming on for what's for lunch. Let's eat. You know, it's a good burger. Well, it's good. What is this? 45 minutes ago you cooked this? Yeah. An hour? Mm -hmm. No, more than an hour. Two. Yeah. It's still good. That's good. Really good.